In mathematics, the Banach fixed point theorem is an important tool in the theory of metric spaces. It guarantees the existence and uniqueness of fixed points of certain self maps of metric spaces, and provides a constructive method to find those fixed points. The theorem is named after Stefan Banach, and was first stated by him in 1922. Statement. Definition. Let be a metric space, then a map T. XX is called the contraction mapping on X if there exists Q, 0, 1, such that for all X, Y and X. Banach fixed point theorem. Let be a non-empty complete metric space with a contraction mapping T, XX. Then T admits a unique fixed point X asterisk in X equals X asterisk. Furthermore, X asterisk can be found as follows. Start with an arbitrary element X0 in X and define a sequence Xn by Xn equals T, then Xn X asterisk. Remark 1. The following inequalities are equivalent and describe the speed of convergence. Any such value of Q is called a Lipschitz constant for T, and the smallest one is sometimes called the best Lipschitz constant of T. Remark 2. D, T, less than D for all X, Y is in general not enough to ensure the existence of a fixed point, as is shown by the map T. 1, infinity, 1, infinity, T equals X plus 1, X, which lacks a fixed point. However, if X is compact, then this weaker assumption does imply the existence and uniqueness of a fixed point. That can be easily found as a minimizer of D. Indeed, a minimizer exists by compactness, and has to be a fixed point of T. It then easily follows that the fixed point is the limit of any sequence of iterations of T. Remark 3. When using the theorem in practice, the most difficult part is typically to define X properly so that TX proofs. Banach's original proof let x0 be arbitrary and define a sequence xn by setting xn equals t. Banach's original proof can be broken down into several lemmas. Lemma 1. For all n n, d q n d. Proof. We will proceed using induction. The base of the induction holds. Suppose the statement holds for some k n. Then we have by the principle of mathematical induction, for all n n, the lemma is proven. Lemma 2. x n is a Cauchy sequence in and hence converges to a limit x asterisk in x. Proof. Let m n n such that m greater than n. Let epsilon greater than 0 be arbitrary. Since q 0 1, we can find a large n n so that therefore by choosing m n large enough we may write. Since epsilon greater than zero was arbitrary, this proves that sequence is Cauchy. Lemma 3. X asterisk is a fixed point of T. Proof. Take the limit of both sides of the recurrence Xn equals T. Since T is a contraction mapping, it is continuous, so we may take the limit inside. Thus, X asterisk equals T. Lemma 4. X asterisk is the only fixed point of T in. Proof. Suppose y also satisfies t equals y, then remembering that q, 0, 1, the above implies that 0 d 0, which shows that d equals 0, whence by positive definiteness, x asterisk equals y. Shorter proof now we present a simpler proof that appeared recently in the Journal of Fixed Point Theory and its application. By the triangle inequality, for all x, y and x, solving for the d we get the back quote back quote fundamental contraction inequality, and we note that if x and y are both fixed points then this implies that d equals 0, so x equals y, proving that t has at most one fixed point. Now define the mapping Tn by composing T with itself n times and note by induction that it satisfies a Lipschitz condition with constant Qn. It remains to show that for any x0 in x, the sequence Tn is Cauchy and circumverges to a point x asterisk of x which as noted above is clearly a fixed point of T. If in the fundamental inequality we replace X and Y by Tn and trademark, we find that since Q less than 1, the last expression converges to 0 as N, M infinity. 
proving that Tn is Cauchy. Note also that as m infinity gives us derived in the first proof that gives the rate at which Tn converges to x asterisk. Applications A standard application is the proof of the Picard-Lindelof theorem about the existence and uniqueness of solutions to certain ordinary differential equations. The sort solution of the differential equation is expressed as a fixed point of a suitable integral operator which transforms continuous functions into continuous functions. The Banach fixed point theorem is then used to show that this integral operator has a unique fixed point. One consequence of the Banach fixed point theorem is that small Lipschitz perturbations of the identity are by Lipschitz homeomorphisms. Let omega be an open set of a Banach space E, let chi, omega E denote the identity map and let G, omega E be a Lipschitz map of constant chi less than 1. Then, omega equals is an open subset of E. Precisely, for any x in omega such that b omega 1 has b r omega i plus g omega omega is a bi Lipschitz homeomorphism. Precisely, minus 1 is still of the form i plus h omega omega with h a Lipschitz map of constant k. A direct consequence of this result yields the proof of the inverse function theorem. Converses Several converses of the Banach contraction principle exist. The following is due to Cheslaw Bessiger, from 1959. Let f, x, x be a map of an abstract set such that each iterate fn has a unique fixed point. Let q, then there exists a complete metric on x such that f is contractive, and q is the contraction constant. Indeed, very weak assumptions suffice to obtain such a kind of converse. For example if f, x, x is a map on a T1 topological space with a unique fixed point A, such that for each x in x we have fn A, then there already exists a metric on x with respect to which f satisfies the conditions of the Banach contraction principle with contraction constant one half. In this case the metric is in fact an ultrametric generalizations. There are a number of generalizations as immediate corollaries, which are of some interest for the sake of applications. Let T, X, X be a map on a complete non-empty metric space. Assume that some iterate Tn of T is a contraction. Then T has a unique fixed point. Assume that T is a continuous function, and for all X and Y in X, then T has a unique fixed point. However, in most applications the existence and unicity of a fixed point can be shown directly with the standard Banach fixed point theorem, by a suitable choice of the metric that makes the map TA contraction. Indeed, the above result by Bessiger strongly suggests to look for such a metric. See also the article on fixed point theorems in infinite dimensional spaces for generalizations. A different class of generalizations arise from suitable generalizations of the notion of metric space, e.g., by weakening the defining axioms for the notion of metric. Some of these have applications, e.g., in the theory of programming semantics in theoretical computer science.